Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the newest and hottest and one of the best Super C's on the market today. This is a 2022 Integra Coach Accolade XL Model 37M. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Accolade XL and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to show you this beautiful accolade with one of the best paint jobs I've ever seen in the RV industry. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! It's freezing cold! It is. We are so excited, you guys. We are here in Texas. Yes. Bringing you, you know, new RVs. Yes. New floor plans. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Integra Accolade 37M. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 4 inches. This is the Integra Accolade XL. I love it. First and foremost, What's going on right up there, the bunk over the cab? I love that front windshield, and that has a molded fiberglass front cap, and I call it a seamless one, but the seam's actually underneath. It's less likely to leak that way. Andrea, this sits on the S2 RV chassis, which is a custom chassis from Freightliner made for RVers. If you come down, notice how it slopes down a little bit more. That's why it's for RVers, so you can drive around the campsite. It is an ISB 6.7 liter engine, 360 horsepower, and it can 800 pound feet of torque, and it can tow a true 12,000 pounds. Let me show what's under the hood. Wow. like that you know it's not designed exactly like a truck it's designed for the end user which is you the RVers look at these tires Andrea they're the Michelin's I love those 275-80 R22.5 with the shiny AccuRide rims coming on down the side here I love the XL paint job Right there, we do have nice chrome mirrors, uh, trucker style. We got a nice door right here with not one, but two running boards. Very nice. And then right here, Andrea, we do have cameras for the left side, right side, and the reverse side. Also, there is a Gerard armless awning right there. And I love how they continued the paint job on top of that, huh? Paint job looks fabulous. Yes. Now, because this is an Integra, does come with the two year warranty, three year structural warranty, which is the best in the industry. And this is gonna be sister product to the Jayco Prestige 37M. So both are the same. Uh, the only major difference is, is the paint job pattern. You know what I'm saying? Frameless windows throughout the whole motor home. And then look at this nice storage. Wow. Carpet in there. Yes. Very nice. Big storage, look, it goes back. Yes, ma'am. We'll get them all open Love for the you. doors. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. And look at that, all three of them do that. Uh oh. There Still we go. Sticky. Right there, Samsung TV, JBL speaker, sound system on the outside. Do you see the rest of that storage? Yes. Very nice. Just a very nice, beautiful motorhome here. Paint job is really interesting. Paint job's fantastic. I love it. Right here, more storage. Andre, you know what I can't wait for? What? The Tampa RV Me show. Me too. I'm so excited, We're to, so meet excited to meet everybody. Fantabulous. Little one. Look at all the storage. Yeah. Amazing. That's great. Coming around the back, it's a fiberglass rear cap 
okay? It caps over, so just like that bunk over the cab, it's less likely to leak that way. It's not a vulnerable point. And quite frankly, it just looks better. It's a cleaner look. It looks like a diesel when you're driving down the road because it is a diesel. 12,000 pound hitch. And again, this motorhome can tow a true 12,000 pounds. Backup camera right there. Also, Andrea, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there uh -oh. and take a look. Matt, it's cold. You better hold on. It is cold. I had to buy a jacket today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to Academy Sports Store <laughs> that opens up at 9 a.m. so I could buy a jacket. Yes, us Floridians, we don't have jackets. We only have sweaters. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Look at that. Dish satellite right on top. Wine guard antenna right there. Did you antenna? And then you already have solar on the roof because this is the Accolade Excel. Take your time. All right, hold on. Okay, two steps. Oh. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof when it's only 38 degrees outside? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And Andrea, it's 38, but it's like a dry 38. Yes. You know, the sun is definitely helping. It's better than the 26 it was when we left. Yes. <laughs> right here, no propane. Aqua Hot 250D Hydronic Heating System. I love that. Jen, please insert, bing, all the specs here so everybody can see who is watching on television. Okay. All right. Your own amp, 8,000 generator. Very nice, diesel generator that is. Right here. Fuel fill. Fuel fill. Look at this wet oh, bay. Wow. Now that one hose does have a macerator. Very nice. Um, paper towel holder, wet bay. This has one of my favorite wet bays in the entire industry. Look at this. Storage. Nice storage, 50 amp power cord on a reel. Nice. Very nice. And that reel, it's electric. So you just push it. It's electric. It. Boogie, oh. boogie, boogie, boogie. Yes. Right there, more storage. Very, very nice. And then here's battery your battery. On a Namorai tray. Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm so excited to go in. Well, Andrea, the outside of the motorhome, the outside of the Integra XL looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Let's see if he skips. But you're doing it. And let's get the cargo carrying capacity. I'm gonna guess 8,204. What's your guess? Uh, 8,645. Oh, no, way off. 4,743. Oh, wow. Yeah. Still very, very impressive. Very. All right, guys. We need some lights on in here, Matt. Okay, slide is in. We can hit the lights. Okay. Slide is in. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Okay, nice walkway here. Not bad at all, everybody. Yes. Not bad. Opens up a little bit more here. As you walk through, here is the bathroom. Looks like you can open the fridge because you have this right here. And then we have the master. Oh, we got a tilt to bed. So can't use that, but look at this walkway. Impressive. Yes. For how many slides are in here. Oh, and Andrea, it says the temperature of the RV right now, just so everybody knows we're not liars. And <laughs> while I'm getting the slide outs out, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. 
Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first, discover. Research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes, and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Great, so Andre, now you can see what this unit looks like with the slide outs all the way open. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? It is, I love the floor. We are gonna start up here in the cockpit area. Freightliner chassis, Andrea, left ignition. Interesting. At first I thought that was weird, but then that's what all the truckers have. Listen to that. Hell man. yeah, <laughs> brother. It's America. Nice steering wheel, nice cockpit area. Here's your Allison transmission, air brakes, air ride, power windows right here. Here's where you push them down. It does have auto levelers, of course. That's where it is right there. Uh, your Sony here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. That's where your cameras are. And Andrea, please sit in my co-captain yes. seat. That is a full power seat right there. You got cup holders here, plenty oh, of leg space. Let's go. We're going trucking. Let's go trucking. Hell yeah, let's go trucking. I like this. Yes, ma'am. This and, is nice. And yes, guys, yes, America, we're in Texas. And this <laughs> is an air horn. I love that. Just very nice and like, let me tell you, it's not, I, I'm telling you guys, like sh show out there, it's not too big. It's not intimidating. Not this at all. isn't like driving a 45 foot bus. And quite frankly, even the buses aren't super intimidating. Again, it's just a nice ride, a nice feel, and it's freaking awesome. Cool. And then the bunk over the cab, Andrea. I like that. Look how much that. weight does this hold? 750 pounds. Yes, ma'am. What? I, I love the Integra bunks because there's so much headroom. Yes. You know? Tons of headroom. What I'm doing now, I'm push, pushing the screen up or whatever uh, so you can see out there in the nice, great big windshield. 750 pounds, Andrea. This is amazing. And uh, I see a privacy curtain here. Okay. We have little cubbies on the side. They've got USBs, cup holders back there. Yes. Um, it also has a ladder. Nice size bed up here. Yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate it for America. Because people said they want to see. And then especially when it comes to these Jayco's on... Not Jayco's. Especially when it comes to these Integra's, Andrea. I mean, the headroom, this is good for an adult to sleep up here. So many times the bunks are right here and it doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference, but it does. Again, this is perfect for my torso to head height. Just one of the best bunk, over, no. The best. The best bunk over the cab in the RV industry. All right, hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Uh, I'm gonna show this cabinet right here because it is right when you walk in, it's like a little closet. Yes. Hang up your sweaters, jackets. Very nice. And then over here in the living room area, Andre, you notice I'm noticing about this? This is not a farmhouse. It's not. How do you like it? Uh, I like it. I just, you know, I don't like the, the, val the valances are a little strange. Andre, they went away with the farmhouse on this unit and you're still not going to like the valances? Well, I want to hear what everybody else has to say. I, I like think em. they look like they're from the 70s. No, but... actually they look like they're from the 90s. Talk about some fresh <laughs> Prince of Bel Air, do they not? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll wait to see what RV Review Crew says. Hey, comment below. 70s, 80s, or 90s? Where, where are these balances coming 70s. from? 70s. No, I think they're the 90s, baby. Right here we got the cup holder and uh, 
we got that there. Uh, right here is the uh, electric recliner chairs. Once the generator's on, there's also a USB to charge your phone there. And uh, I, I am going to point out, I like the light scots here. Yes. That, that is modern. Very nice. And then, Andrea, I am going to go to the other side. But wait, I need you to record me doing this. Okay. Yeah. Dinner. <laughs> dinner. Dinner. <laughs> What the heck? This watch keeps talking to me. That was called the Carlton America. And then over here. Got more cabinets up there. Yep, there's some of your I, uh, I, splitters and everything. I like the light above the slide. I love when they do that. Yes. Nice cabinetry. And look, TV on the televator. You know that's my favorite. And then look at the button. It's just right here. Oh, nice. And it's fast. What I hate the most is when they put the button in the most awkward position. Um, so I'm glad it's right here. Nice sound bar. Yes. Samsung. Got the slow ray shade. Oh, it's interesting that the sound bar is right here. Yeah, that is an interesting Power piece. right there. That's very interesting that they did that. And then this, we got a nice sofa with cup holders here. I think that might be just a jackknife. Oh, yeah. Just a jackknife. Interesting. It is interesting. They have plenty of room for a full pullout. Right. I don't know. But I don't know why they didn't do that. Because maybe the full pullout's this one, but they optioned it with the theater seats. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I bet you that's what it is. And then over here, Andre, is the dinette. Now, Andre, do you know when this unit came in? When? Just recently. Yeah, just recently. So we're going to check to see if uh they got the piano hinges uh-oh nope nope womp 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 really america, america womp womp come on so integra says they are coming out with piano hinges on these because the piece of plywood actually sucks this is a nice table solid surface solid surface cup holders here drops down to make a bed i didn't get that oh Could my try again? what the heck's going on it's like recording everything that I'm saying right now. Okay, how do I turn Siri off? Over here, everybody. Look, we have a cabinet. Nice storage. Wait a minute. That's pretty good. You can actually put a lot of stuff in there. Yes. And then we have the fireplace down here. I like that. That's pretty. That backsplash. Yes. And then we got the 40 inch fireplace there, Furion. And notice the porcelain tile floors. Yes, the floor is so pretty. Very beautiful and nice. Kitchen, look at this. Nice cabinetry. Beautiful. Got a shelf. Got this very pretty solid surface countertop. Yes. Nice big rectangle sink with an extension. I love the window. And I think those open as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. These were little, little very spices nice. in there. Um, Sugar got, spice and everything nice. <laughs> we got three drawers. Yeah. Good size. A nice big drawer here. And then we, oh, that's great space for a trash can. Look Absolutely. And then over here, we got the convection microwave. It's yes. Two burner Furion induction cooktop. Yes. Another cabinet. And, oh, look. Mm. More here. Three drawers. I love the LED lights under here. I love whenever I see that. Right. I love that extra lighting, you know? It makes a difference. Okay, so I can't open the fridge because I got this tie on but here. But we know what that fridge looks but like. But we've got a residential Whirlpool refrigerator. And here's what's huge about it. Ice maker and water yes. maker. And it, it runs off your inverter. Yep. Uh, here's your control I, panel, your slide yes. outs and everything. I was looking for the pantry, but let's see. It must... Be, oh! This is stackable rah, rah. washer well, and dryer. Pro and con. That is a stackable washer and dryer. Purple. Yes. But again, it does take away from your pantry yes. space. Something to remember if you want a motorhome like this. But that's the difference between a 40-foot motorhome and a 39-foot, 4-inch motorhome. Okay, Andrea, into the bathroom. We've got a sliding door there. Look at this. Nice shower. Yeah, this is a very nice, nice. 30 by 36 Encore shower. You guys know we love the Encore showers. They're the best in our opinions. And this is just super nice. You know, gets the shower test seal of approval. And it doesn't have a big step up. So. Right. All right, so we got the medicine cabinet right here. Good for Lots all your medicines. Room. 
pretty. Uh, look, look at this again. Solid mm. surface countertop. Very nice. Yes. We have a cabinet underneath. Very nice. And another one over here. So nice. Okay. And then here we go, Andre. This is All moment right. of truth. All right. Moment of truth. It's a little close, but I feel like that's my winter coat as well. Andrea, this is a prime poop position, bing! But I will say it's not the primest. I will say it just barely passed. Okay. But passing's Fair passing. Enough. Passing's passing. Doesn't matter if you went by an inch or a mile, Andrea. All right, coming into the master, we've got another sliding door here. I love the pocket doors, it just saves on space. Good entry. Yes. We got a wardrobe here. Very and nice. And another one over there. Yes. TV. Samsung. Let's see. Do we have storage behind there? We do. Nice. Yes. And I love how they gave you the TV in this. Remember we did the uh, Greyhawk and, and it's just an option. Okay. So right there's there. a window there. we got three drawers down here. Yep. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. Carpet right there. Yes. And then a very nice big window right here. And then uh, the tilt-up bed. The king-size tilt-up king bed. Tilt up. The bed does need to be up for you to get the slide-outs in and out. And then there is storage above here. We've got three. Yes, I'll very, very nice. Over here. Open up that one. Very nice. Got reading lights there. Absolutely. And then uh, we got nightstands on both sides yes. with storage. Okay, it's the electrical outlet down there. All right. Perfect. Um, well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, but first, we will let everybody know, but first, it's now time to give you three things we love about the Accolade XL and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Mm. And I have one. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go say, first. I'm very disappointed that there is not a designated pantry. Um, yes. I feel like this is something that you could definitely full time in. Okay. And I would want a pantry. So that's I, my dislike. I 100% concur. It's one of those things where um, if you want a pantry, you got to lose the washer dryer. You can. You could have put it here. I mean, they could have had it here and maybe just I mean, took that out yeah. and had more shelves. Yeah, and you don't even need the fireplace to be right. honest with you. Exactly. Yep. Nope. I 110% concur with you. That's number one, Andre. Number two. I do love the amount of storage on the exterior. As you guys know, I do not like the carpet in the exterior storage. Now I know that's noise dampening and I know it's insulated better. Still, personally, I don't like that. Um, I, I don't like carpet in the storage underneath. So that's number two. And then Andrea, number three, I'm doing double carpet. Yeah. Double carpet, baby. Look it's at this slide It's kind of an out. eyesore. Um, you know, with the porcelain tile floor being so nice, I don't like the carpet here. Now, here's what I will say. This carpet, that carpet being a deal breaker, absolutely not. It's just something I'm not a huge fan of. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Oh, you're raising your hand. I, I gotta say. You go first. I really, really love the floors in here. Yes. They are just so pretty. It just makes it look so elegant. Yes. I think it's gorgeous. Super, super nice. That is number one. Andrea, number two, I'm going to say the look in here. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Everybody went to the farmhouse. And when I say everybody, I meant everybody. Uh, yeah. So just doing something different, even though Andrea is not digging the valances, the 1990 valances at that. <laughs> uh, um, 1970s. Uh, e even though she's not digging <laughs> them, I'm digging the way it looks. I, I, I like how it's going back to the... Not contemporary look, but the but the normal look. And it's not too flashy, it's not too old, it's not too much glam. It's just that really nice neutral look that truthfully I think almost everybody could agree on. So that's number two. And then Andre, do you have a number three or should I go? Um I okay. I, I got a number say, three if you don't. Okay, I was gonna say I, I like the uh the opposing uh, seating. Okay, the floor plan style. Yeah, the floor plan style. Okay. I really like all the extra seating in here. I think it's great. Um, I would say in, in this, to me, I would rather have a pull-out sofa. Yeah, But true. I think, like you said, hopefully you could option that if you didn't want the entertainment seating. At least a pull-out sofa over here. Okay. 
and I'm going to combo that, Andrea. Come on out. Third thing I absolutely love about this motorhome is this sick, amazing, yes. awesome paint I job. I about that, Matt. It is it's blue. Beautiful. It is awesome. Mm-mm-mm. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know. You know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $360,186, Andrea, MSRP. We hope everybody's safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.